I'm Helen, and this is my son, John. John is 50 years old. We're in the World Series. Born in the World Series. Likes to tell everybody that. The first four years of his life, uh, he was very slow. And the doctor said, oh, he'll be fine. But when I received the diagnosis, the first thing I did was go to the Association for Retarded Children. That's what it was called back then. And um, I received services right away. It was very important to me, too, because I had six children. I had a little baby in my arms. And he was able to go to a preschool class that Achieva had. I never felt that John was a, uh, a burden. He was work, but he was never a burden. And he's a blessing. He's my saint on earth. So now John is in his home, and he loves it. He grew up just up the street, and he knows all of the neighbors here by name, and they know him. Uh, you know that old saying, everybody knows your name? <laughs> everybody knows John. So John, now that you're in your own home, how do you like it? Good. You do? What do you like best about it? The people. You like the people that help you. I needed him to be independent and to learn to be by himself and think for himself, even though he does have staff that helps him, so that when I go, um, hopefully, it won't be as tough a situation for him. I pray every day that he has uh, peace in his heart and that he grows in independence. I'm Barbara, and this is my son, William, and he just turned 20 years old. So William was born quite premature about 10 weeks early, and uh, he spent four weeks in a neonatal unit. At about 11 months, it became clear that William was not yet rolling, was not yet sitting. We decided we would take him for an evaluation at the Child Development Unit at Children's Hospital. We learned that the county had an early intervention program that would provide some physical therapy for him. And that was the first time I heard the name Ark Allegheny. William is um, 20 now, and so he, we are in the process of orchestrating his transition from school into his adult program. One of the things that is really valuable to William is having consistency, having a consistent set of um, activities, consistent relationships, um, consistent physical environments. I think it's been very helpful to me in the same way to have a consistent relationship with one agency that knows us, knows our family, knows William, and that can help us at steps all along the way. Because the family trust is in existence, we have a way of making sure that financially, William's needs can be met and his quality of life can remain good. There's nothing that would make me want to have this experience any other way. I almost can't imagine William being other than who he is because, because you're such a great kid just the way you are.
ね Hi, my name is Patrice, and this is Promise. Say hi, Promise. She is two years old. She'll be three in August. And she's just the most amazing child you will ever meet. She's just so wonderful and lively, and this is just so sweet, and she's adorable. When I found out I was having complications during the pregnancy, they found out that she had cysts in her bladder and she couldn't like urinate or anything. So I had to go to hospital constantly, like about two every other week, and it was sometimes it was every week that they were worried about her that she wasn't going to survive. It was hard. They took her sh straight from me. I did not get a chance to be with her, and it was very, very hard because I couldn't leave the hospitals. And when I got her, I went, I visit her all the time, and she was in the NICU for a very long time. And she had her first surgery when she was 10 days old. She had about four surgeries already, and I don't know. And during her surgeries, she kind of got set back. Like she wouldn't sit up and she wouldn't she wouldn't roll over and all the problems she was having it was so hard for her to do anything. Anytime we went to the hospital, she either had bronchitis or her kidneys was failing or she lost more. She had so many infections. I didn't know what to do to help her get better or the exercises to do or the the strategies to take and the steps to take to help her improve her health. And without Achieva, she would not be where she is now. She is so much better now. She came a long way. She really did. She loves to read. She likes to color. She loves to like play, pretend, and dress up. And she's the girly girl. I'm so, so grateful for her for all the therapists that helped, even the social workers that came and helped us. It was, it's just a blessing. So I'm looking forward to the future with her. I, I'm excited to see what she's gonna grow into. And you can already tell she's gonna become something great. <laughs>